deteriorating grazing conditions being experienced in most parts of the country amid poor and below average rainfall led to thousands of animals dying. And Kunene North, where the Ovahimba people reside, is the most affected. Muharukwa now wants a parliamentary standing committee visits the region on an urgent basis prior to the tabling of the national budget next week Wednesday. The PDM MP claims that the people of Kunene region are neglected at the time when they need assistance. A humble request for this August House to go see for themselves so that when the Honorable Shini tables his budget, we can have a look at it and say, but Honorable Shini, where is your specific emphasis on, on policy directions yes, to ensure that your budget reflects policies that don't feed but lift these drought-stricken communities out of this vicious cycle of drought. He also wants the Ministry of Finance, through its national budget, to have a policy intervention on the drought situation instead of people being only fed with drought relief food. The PDM lawmaker also made it clear that he did not table the motion because he is from the Kunene region, but rather for the House to discuss for possible solutions nationally. Muharukwa has urged fellow lawmakers not to politicize the motion, but rather to approach it with a mind that is not politically affiliated. In my view, we should not differ when it comes to this matter of national interest. Because national interest really is a subject where we need consensus across political party what uh, lines. We need to be really unanimous to come to the defense of our people, regardless of which community. I support this motion and also support the idea that with immediate effect, a special committee be compiled so that we do an investigation. We cannot wait until the budget is approved to do this because it is people who are living there and they really are in a very devastating situation. The Kunene region has been a drought-stricken region after every five years since 1993. Discussion on the motion has been postponed to tomorrow. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Parliament.